This is the wire for 2130 Zulu, August 14th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 2030. Bottom line up front. Data breach impacts most American social security data. Water supply for German airbase sabotaged. Iranian National Bank victim of cyber attack. Beginning with international events in Germany. This morning, two military bases were locked down in response to a possible sabotage of the water supply. Early this morning, abnormal readings of an undisclosed nature were discovered in the tap water supply, serving the Cologne von Barracks, which houses the air crew and personnel required for the military aircraft that transport high-level German military leadership to include Chancellor Schultz. A search of the base perimeter revealed a hole cut in the wire, but no trespassers were found. Soldiers are urged to not drink or use the tap water at this facility until further notice. A few hours later, a similar incident occurred at the nearby Geilenkirchen NATO Air Base, though a German military spokesman stated that the water supply at this base has been tested and is normal. In the Middle East, Iranian officials have reported a large cyber attack that has affected the central bank of Iran. No further details have been released indicating the severity or the impact of the attack. In Switzerland, the World Health Organization has again declared a global health emergency with regards to monkeypox, now officially named Mpox for political correctness. Most of the recent cases appear to be confined to sub-Saharan Africa. On the home front in the United States, details of a major cyber attack involving potentially most U.S. citizens have come to light following the publishing of recent court documents. This data breach reportedly involved the leaking of every single American citizen's social security number from national public data, a company that processes or conducts background checks. This encompasses roughly 2.9 billion citizens going back roughly 30 years. Analyst comments for this wire. Though details are sketchy at best, it's possible that this little-known company was accessing this data illegally and in turn got hacked themselves. This entire scandal kicked off due to many Americans receiving notification that their data had been posted on various dark web sites. This is because one of the members of the hacking group, a group that goes by the name USDOD, posted the bulk of this breach data for free on the internet, triggering the notifications that led to the revelation of the breach. Consequently, national public data is being sued in a Florida court for scraping non-public sources of information regarding background investigations, as well as not notifying citizens regarding this cyber attack. Since none of the people who had their data leaked were customers, a catch-22 situation has emerged whereby the company didn't want to reveal that a person's data was breached because it would raise questions as to why this company had that illegally obtained data in the first place and would reveal that that person was under investigation. In Germany, issues with a potentially tainted water supply are challenging to attribute to malign activity unless very obvious indicators are present. In many cases, what is portrayed as a poisoned water supply is often an error in water treatment procedures. In a time of heightened vigilance, an innocent mistake or even negligence can result in an incident being blown out of proportion. However, in Germany, the indicators present to authorities and thus conveyed to the public have resulted in this case being treated as an instance of deliberate sabotage. This concludes the wire for 2130 Zulu, August 14th, 2024.